Hey there, welcome to the web class. I am so glad that you joined me. I am so excited to share with you this new method for how to book three to six or more new high value hair clients every single week without posting on social media every day, without getting overwhelmed by technology, and without depending on walk-ins and referrals. So you can finally build a successful hair business by consistently connecting with dream clients who wouldn't dare dream of asking for a discount. I'm talking about high value clients like hair extensions, blonding and balayage, brides and formal updos, vivid colors, dimensional color, and precision cuts. And if you don't know me, my name is Liz. I've been a hairstylist and makeup artist for over 20 years. And pretty much I was excited about hair and makeup from a very young age. I played with dolls, especially dolls like this one that you might remember, pretty baby cut and grow or something like that. This was the doll where you could pull her yarn hair out of her head. And for some reason, they gave me scissors short enough, sharp enough to cut that hair. And then you just pull it out and it would grow back and you'd cut it. But they never told me that at some point, the hair stops coming out of the head and then you just have this bald baby doll, right? But these were some fun things that I loved to play with. I also learned how to French braid my own hair pretty much because I had a really tender, sensitive head and I didn't like anyone touching my hair. So on my softball team, I started to French braid my own hair and then everybody else asked me to help them with theirs. So you might have a story like mine. Maybe you had a passion for styling hair. Maybe you had a passion for people. Maybe being a hairstylist sounded like a dream career. And then you realized, like I did, that most cosmetology schools and most hair classes do not teach you a predictable process for how to attract and book new clients consistently. And if this is you, it's not your fault, right? They didn't tell us that getting those clients booked in consistently would be the key to our business. They showed us all the skills, but they didn't show us this one very important skill, right? As a matter of fact, after I started cosmetology school, going through the theory and the practical and working on doll heads, suddenly it occurred to me, maybe one day someone mentioned, by the way, you're going to have to get your own clients. I think I kind of thought naively that I could just go and work at a busy salon and hair clients would just be handed to me, right? Maybe you thought the same thing too. And if you did, it's not your fault. So let's make sure you're in the right place. This is for you, whether you are a beginner at trying to figure out the social media game for hairstylists, or you have some experience with Facebook and Instagram, but you want a more predictable system, or you're tired of posting every day or all the time and taking tons of photos and not really seeing a difference in new clients. This is also for you, whether you are a brand new or seasoned stylist or salon owner, whether you are a commission stylist, an independent stylist, a large or small salon owner, maybe you have a private studio or suite, or maybe you're a mobile stylist. This is for you and you're in the right place. I'm going to show you why posting on social media every day or all the time is actually hurting your business and what to focus on instead. Because I was once just like you, deep in the grind of trying everything possible to get more hair clients, taking every class possible, going to all the shows, trying all the coupons, discounting my services, taking any and all clients to fill my books. I did everything I could to up-level my hair skills. I did cuts and colors and perms and hair extensions. I did keratin treatments. I did brides and formal updos and blonding balayage. I was a makeup artist. I did commercials and TV and talk shows and pilots and even a movie. I got certificates like dream catchers and laced hair extensions, hot heads and great lengths. I did classes like Redkin and Sebastian and Wella and Vidal Sassoon and the list goes on. Sadly, none of these high priced classes taught me how to get 
more hair clients. Tell me if this sounds like you. You've taken tons of classes and bought tons of tools and equipment. You're over trying to constantly post on social media like it's a second job. You're tired of waiting for referrals and followers to book appointments. You want more dream clients and less clients who are cheap and just to want to take up your time. You wish there was an easier and faster way to make more money with dream clients while working less. Well, I have great news for you. I'm going to show you a revolutionary new way to book high value clients predictably and consistently without the stress so you can finally concentrate on what you do best, and that is creating beautiful hair. But first, why should you listen to me? So like I said, my name is Liz. I've been a hairstylist and makeup artist licensed in 1997 to this day for over 20 years in the industry. I got licensed in California. I've worked in four different cities, including Palm Desert and Los Angeles area. I was an assistant. I worked at a commission salon, a rental salon. I had a suite. I took classes like Redken Master Specialist and Goldwell Certificates and Wella. I studied at Vidal Sassoon in Santa Monica. I've been certified in dream catchers and great lengths and lace hair extensions and so many more classes. I also worked in a big salon and spa. I did brides and hair extensions, hair and makeup. I got to work on shows like Judge Janine Perot. I did her pilot many years ago, also at the Crystal Cathedral, which was filmed every Sunday with Dr. Schuler, who had many guests who I got to do their hair and makeup, including Nick Vujicic, who, if you don't know who he is, he is an amazing inspirational story of courage and perse perseverance, who you should definitely look up. As well, I got to meet and do the makeup and hair for Jackie Velasquez, who is a Christian music artist. Today, I teach hairstylists and salon owners how to fill their books weeks out with high value clients and have a predictable system to book consistent high ticket clients to make more money and work less and have students who are blowing past their income goals. But it wasn't always this way. So when I started out, I worked at a commission salon. And even before that, for my first two and a half years in the industry, I worked as an assistant as well as I worked at Supercuts. And I was so glad to get out of there as quickly as I could because it was draining the passion that I had for hair. So the first salon, I had my own chair. I was a commission stylist and that closed after five years. So this forced me to move to a new salon. I started renting my own station in a beautiful big salon and spa, which was actually a blessing because I was able to make a lot more money. I basically doubled my income just by moving to that new salon. But it was almost eight years into my career before I was making consistent income. So it took a while and I depended on walk-ins and referrals to build my clientele. You might relate. And I was starting to grow from there. However, less than two years later, I went through a divorce and decided to move to the East Coast because why not, right? I was planning on going to college there but I really missed home too much and it just wasn't a good time mentally for me to make a big move like that. So I actually moved back home only to realize that I had sold my clientele. I sold my clients to another stylist before I left. So I couldn't just call them up and try to take them back. So I would have to start over again. Now, there weren't too many commission salons in my area, so I decided to just build again from scratch. Now, I tried to go to another more high-end salon that was maybe just less than an hour away, but they told me that even though I had been a hairstylist for almost 10 years, I would have to assist for two years just to work in their salon. So this was really discouraging, but I decided to just go ahead and 
build from scratch. Luckily, the economy was doing pretty well at that time, so it wasn't too hard. The salon was big and it was in a good location. It had a lot of walk-in clientele, but again, waiting for walk-ins and referrals that of course I had to share with a lot of other stylists. So just as I was getting really busy and making a good income, I started to feel really run down and tired all the time. After my regular doctor kept trying to give me medications and sleeping pills, I decided to look into naturopathic medicine and was soon after diagnosed with a thyroid disorder and adrenal fatigue. And as you know, as a hairstylist, you need tons of energy. And so thyroid and adrenals are definitely important for that energy. I was glad to be busy and making more money, but I knew I couldn't go on with the long, strenuous days in the salon. Maybe you can relate. So I shortened my days, decided to go back to college, finish my degree in biblical counseling. The next year after I graduated, that, that salon closed. So I moved again. I also realized that I would have to do a lot more schooling if I wanted to use that degree. And it just really wasn't something that my heart was sure about doing. Every time I tried to go back to school, I kept coming back to, I love being a hairstylist. Over the next five years, I worked in three different salons. Two were in different towns because my accountant told me it would help if I could just work in a high-end salon, charge higher prices, but none of these salons had any type of marketing systems in place. So I was on my own to figure it out. I was on an income roller coaster. Maybe you can relate to the income roller coaster. I even moved back in with my mom to save money, which was really embarrassing because even though I had all this experience as a hairstylist, I couldn't figure out a way to get a consistent flow of new clients. I even tried Groupon for some quick cash and sold over 40 Brazilian blowout treatments, which was a total nightmare and not amazing for my health. So I started trying to make extra money by selling on Amazon and eBay and learning social media. At this point, I met some people who were helping local brick and mortar businesses get more customers and clients, and they were using social media. And this sounded so interesting to me. And I thought hair salons would be perfect for this type of marketing. So I started learning and researching and testing and trying out this new method of social media for my business. And I thought if I could just book more hair extension clients, I could earn more money in less time and be free so that I could basically work less hours and make the same, if not more money. And then something crazy happened. I started to get too many clients. So I had to basically turn off the social media marketing that I was using. So I asked a hairstylist friend of mine who I knew wanted more ideal clients. She wanted to specialize with curly hair clients. She was a Diva Curl certified specialist and she wanted more of those clients and she couldn't figure out how to get them. So I got great results with her and then I started working with more hairstylists, teaching them the beginning of the system that I teach hairstylists today. And this is Rebecca, she's a curly hair specialist, and she was able to get 12 new curly hair clients to her books in the first few weeks of working with me. And if you've ever tried to do this, you know how hard it is to attract curly hair clients specifically. And she did it with this one simple post. And Holly actually booked 18 new blonding clients in less than eight weeks and she booked 42 new blonding clients in less than five months. She was able to double her prices and then booked herself three months out. And if you stick with me to the end of this web class, I'm gonna show you the exact steps that they took to make this happen for their business. Now, the number one problem that I see for both individual stylists and salon owners who are not reaching their goals is that they have no plan on how to consistently bring in new clients and guests. 
So in order to go from your current situation to your desired situation, you need a formula. Just like in hair, in cutting, and hair color, in updos, we would never begin a service without having a formula or a plan on how to achieve the result, right? You never want to go blindly into a color service or a cut. You know the feeling of getting lost if you don't have a formula. You can really make a mess of things, right? And what I see that most stylists are doing is using hope and pray marketing. And this is like swimming in an ocean with no life jacket. Now, the old way of building your hair business was to graduate from cosmetology school, assist for around two years, work for a commission hair salon, maybe get up enough courage to go out on your own and start renting. Then spend three to five years building your clientele. And you might still hear this today, right? Taking any and all clients that you possibly can to stay busy and make enough money to pay the bills and keep yourself in business. Then you were told, take a ton of pictures of as many clients as you can, bribe them if you have to, post them on Facebook and Instagram as often as you can, every day if you can, then gather the proper hashtags and make sure you write amazing captions and get as many followers and as much engagement as you can. Oh my gosh, so exhausting. And then if you still don't reach your goals after all that work, you start to doubt yourself and you start to doubt your choices, right? Did I even choose the right career? Why aren't people booking with me? They see my posts, they see my work. What's going on? Is it my prices? Is it my reputation? Is it my social media content, right? You might ask yourself, all these questions wondering where you went wrong. Should I take more classes, you might ask yourself. Should I buy more expensive tools? Should I move to a new location? Should I go to a new, better salon? And then we end up on this hairstylist roller coaster where we have to depend on the holiday seasons just to get busy, right? We are starting out in January looking forward to Valentine's Day because everybody wants to get their hair done for this special occasion. And then it's down again and up again around Easter and down again and up again around Mother's Day and down through the summer when everybody's too busy and then up again when school starts and then down again. And now we're approaching the fall and getting into winter, which is the busy season, right? There's Halloween, which is super exciting for hair and makeup and then Thanksgiving and then Hanukkah and Christmas and Kwanzaa and New Year's. And then we're so tired, we were run ragged because we didn't take any days off just to get all those clients in the door knowing that we'd have a downturn in January and start all over again. Not the way to run a successful hair business. And this is not the way to take care of your health right? Your mental health and your physical health. As hairstylists, we put everything we have into our career, into serving our clients, listening to their problems. It's an emotional stress. It's a mental stress. It's a physical stress, right? We're everything at all times. And raise your hand if any of this sounds familiar to you, right? Well, I want to show you that there is a new and better way. I want to show you the key to a successful hair business, and that comes in a client attraction system, a system that is automated, predictable, limitless, and effortless. So in order to stop being season dependent and holiday dependent and on this roller coaster, I have developed a simple four-step system to make this client attraction method happen for you. And we're going to talk through these four steps in just a minute. But before we get there, I want to talk to you about something really important. This is called the lifetime value of a client. And it's the most important number in your business and the number that many salons and stylists don't actually know. So what is the lifetime value of a client? This can be better said as the long-term value of a client. How much does a client pay you 
over the course of the time that they stay with you as a client, right? So as hairstylists, we have returning clients. Some come every single month or every two months or three months. Some might even come more often than that, right? Sometimes we have clients that wanna cover their gray every two weeks, which I had as well. So when we look at the long-term value, we wanna know how much is one client worth to us over the course of one year. So we just take it in one year increments to make it more simple. But we need to know these numbers in order to figure out where we need to go to reach our goals. So if we take an example of a hair extension client, right? The average price for a hair extension client might be around $700 to $1,200 or more, right? It varies from city to city and stylist to stylist, but on average, it could be around $700 to $1,200. Now the average cost of hair could be, as an example, anywhere from $300 to $500. So just as an example, if you charge around $900 for a hair extension service and the hair costs $400, then your profit is $500. Now stick with me. I know that math isn't popular in these types of web classes, but this is so important for your success. So your profit on that client would be about $500, right? So let's say that the client pays $500 on her first appointment, and then she has her touch-up visits to tighten and retape and tighten up those extensions, rebond, removal, reinstall, whatever you need to do. Let's say that she spends about $120 and she comes in seven times in that year. Now, obviously, if you're doing something like great lengths or bonded extensions, you have to remove and reinstall. So they actually pay you the same price each time. So keep that in mind if you do those types. But for like, let's say a retape, then this might look something like this. So that client is worth $1,340 over the course of one year. This is a high value client, right? She pays you over $1,300 in one single year. Now let's take an example of a blonding client. Her service might be $180. Maybe she comes in every two months, which is six times per year. That's $1,080 over the course of one year, right? Or your blonding client might pay $200, but she only comes in every three months or four times a year. She pays you $800 over the course of a year, not including tips, right? Or a color client might pay 150, come in six times per year, she's worth 900. So what we wanna know, or fun with math, stick with me, this is so important for you. If your hair extension client is worth $500 profit, right? If you had five new hair extension clients per week, you would make $2,500 per week, right? That's $10,000 in one month. So let's do some reverse math and decide if our goal was $100,000 per year. Now this might be your goal, this might not be. I'm not saying that there's a right or wrong goal to have as a hairstylist, but a lot of hairstylists I've talked to say that this is a very popular goal. $100,000 would be a very comfortable living, right? even when you subtract your taxes and your costs of doing business. So if you take $100,000 and divide it by 500, because that's your profit on your client, that equals 200 clients. You would need 200 new hair extension clients to make $100,000. So if we divide by 50 weeks, so for example, let's say we take two weeks off, so there's 50 weeks left in the year, we would only need four new hair extension clients per week to equal, to add up to this goal, right? Or let's say our client is worth $1,340, like we discussed. If we divide that, we get to 75 clients is how many we need. Divided by 50 weeks is only one to two clients per week. 
So that's our hair extension client over the course of one year. Or let's say our lifetime value or long-term value of a client is about $1,000 over the course of a year, 100,000 divided by 1,000 equals 100 clients. So that's how many clients we need in a year divided by 50 weeks equals just two per week. Two new clients per week could easily get you to this goal. And that's if you're starting from zero. If you're already halfway there, just take those numbers and divide them in half. Or you could get there in six months instead of a year. So wherever you're starting from, you could figure out what it would take to reach that goal. And if you had a client attraction system that was predictable and consistent and you could do this every week, how amazing would that be? So this is the power of the client attraction system. Now, one more thing before we get into the four steps of this system, I want to show you a marketing framework that is so valuable as you can use it in your social media and every other form of marketing that you do for your business. It's been around a long time. It works for all businesses and we call this the AIDA marketing framework. And marketing is just the business process of creating relationships with and satisfying customers. So every hairstylist needs this, right? And marketing is also the message you use to attract new clients to you and your business. Yes, we need this. <laughs> so the AIDA method is this. A is for attention, I is for interest, D is for desire, and A is for action. And it works kind of like a funnel. So the first thing we need to do to get clients is we need to attract their attention. They need to become aware that we exist, right? You might be your city's best kept secret right? You are a great hairstylist. You've put tons of time and energy into perfecting your skills and you've worked at your craft and you have all these beautiful results, but nobody knows you're there, right? So the most important thing for stylists and salon owners is to make sure that you can attract the attention and build awareness for you and your services. So this starts at the top. This is where we get clients through social media, like Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. We get attention through Google and Pinterest. And we can also get attention through other things that are offline, right? Like flyers and business cards and word of mouth, new newspapers and radio ads, any way that you can attract attention is the way that new potential clients become aware of you. Once they are aware of you, if it's possible that they are a perfect fit for you, you want to build their interest, right? And after they build interest, they learn about you and your services, they become interested in what you have to offer, and then they move into desire where they actually think about booking with you and coming into your salon. And then hopefully they take the action, which is to book that appointment. And it always happens this way. So at the same time as our AIDA process is taking place, we're also building a relationship. Potential clients who are complete strangers when they first hear about us or see us begin to know us. And once they know us, they might begin to like us. And once they like us, they begin to trust us. And usually only when these things have taken place is when they will take the action of booking that appointment. Trust is the most important thing when it comes to booking new clients. So this works kind of like a funnel. We funnel people in from first attracting their attention, they move through interest, desire to action. And a funnel is just a series of steps that someone takes from being a complete stranger to becoming aware of your business, all the way to booking with you and becoming a client. And so we begin our simple four-step client attraction system with number one, we need to attract new potential clients. Number two, 
We then need to connect with those clients so that they begin to know about us, our services, and what we have to offer. From there, we want to build trust, right? We want to build that relationship so that they can learn more about us and we can learn more about them. From there, they book the appointment, right? When these steps have taken place in a particular order, they will trust us enough to book that service with us. So this leads us to the framework that I came up with and I call it the ACTB funnel framework, right? The effortless booking model. A is for attract, C is for connect, T is for trust and B is for book. Now in this framework, this usually starts with a Facebook or Instagram post. Now, like we said, there's many ways for potential clients to enter the funnel, but this specific framework that I have developed uses mainly Facebook and Instagram. So before we get into the specific steps of the framework, let's talk real quick about why Facebook and Instagram. Now you probably already know that Facebook and Instagram are huge social platforms with the power to connect people from all over the world. And you may already know that Facebook alone has over 2 billion active users, actually almost 3 billion and over 50% are on Facebook every single day. But you may not realize the power of using paid posts to attract dozens of very specific people in your town to your hair business. And along with Facebook and Instagram, Google can be a very powerful way to attract new clients into your hair business as well. With Google, we would start our funnel with something like a paid ad, as you can see here on the left, and that would guide us into that same steps of the funnel. We would just be starting at a different point. And the main difference between Facebook, Instagram, and Google is just the search intent, right? So when people are on Facebook and Instagram, it's a social platform. They're usually scrolling through their feed, wanting to catch up on news and events from their friends and family, what's going on, looking at pictures and videos, kind of entertaining themselves, maybe checking out, taking a break, but it's mostly for entertainment and social communication, social connecting. Right. With Google, people often go there to actually search very specifically for something they're trying to find a local service, a local business, a certain type of product or information that they're actively searching for. But both of these platforms can be very powerful for you and your hair business in order to attract new clients. So we'll take a real quick look at Google. Like I said, you're going to start with the ad when people type in hairstylist in a certain town, they can see your ad if you pay Google a little bit of money for that. And then they'll be taken through the rest of your funnel as we'll talk about next. Now, Google has a huge amount of searches every single day. People are searching for all different types of things, but ultimately there are billions of searches on Google and thousands of searches in your town. So someone might be searching for something like Hair Salon Dallas. And as you can see up here at the top, I have an app that shows me about how many searches per month are using these exact words. Hair Salon Dallas, 4,400 searches. That's 44, over 4,000 people are searching this term, this key phrase, search term in Dallas every single month, over 4,000, right? So if you could just collect a handful of those, wouldn't that be amazing? And this also shows you other keywords and search terms that people are also searching for. This is an example in Dallas, Texas, right? Best hair salon Dallas. These exact words are being searched. Hair salon Dallas TX, hair salon Dallas Texas, natural hair salon, hair salon, uh, Dallas Uptown, and then there's also Dallas, Oregon, so which is a whole different city. But as you can see, lots and lots, hundreds of searches every single month. And here's another example, hair salon, Gilbert, Arizona. 
1,300 searches every month on Google. Over 1,000 people are searching this term every month. So this is just an example about how Google can also work very powerfully in combination oftentimes with Facebook. It kind of just depends on the strategy that would be best for you. If you're a solo stylist on your own, you could probably just start with Facebook and maybe Instagram and be totally fine to fill your books. If you're a bigger salon, a salon owner who wants to fill the books for 10, 20, 30 stylists, then Google or a combination of Google and Facebook might be the best strategy for you. So let's talk more specifically about how Facebook and Instagram can fit our funnel framework because this is where most hairstylists are gonna wanna start. I just wanted to introduce you to that Google option of attracting clients, but most of us, especially if we're just a solo hairstylist, independent hairstylist, renting our suite or renting our station, Facebook and Instagram are going to be plenty to bring us in all those brand new clients every single month. So again, this starts with attract, and then we move to connect, and then we build trust, and then we book those appointments. It's an effortless booking model. This is our ACTB funnel framework that I have developed to help so many hairstylists and salon owners automatically attract these clients every single week. So let's dive into those steps now. So step number one is attract. We want to get the attention of potential dream clients in your city or town so they become aware of you and your services. We want to attract the perfect clients with the perfect posts, right? These are not random posts. So the best way to do this is through paid or sponsored posts. These are also called Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and Google ads. We don't want to randomly choose what we're going to post. We wanna be very intentional about the words that we use in the post. We wanna be intentional about the images, the pictures, photos, videos that we use, and specifically where we send people. We don't wanna just write random words or here's my phone number or check me out on Instagram, none of that. We're not throwing spaghetti at the wall. We're not hoping people find us. We're not taking chances like, hoping for referrals and walk-ins anymore, right? This is a strategy that we can use if we do a very specific process. Facebook owns Instagram, so anything on Instagram is done simply through Facebook. So when we pay Facebook a little bit of money, they allow us to set up a very specific system that allows our posts to get in front of as many of the right people in our local area as possible. And it's kind of like fishing in a lake with lots of fish. It makes it a lot easier to catch a few good ones when we're sort of getting ourselves in front of so many people at one time. Like we talked about, so many hundreds and thousands of people gathered on these platforms. Now, when we do this organically or without paying any money, it severely limits the number of people we have to choose from. Now, we also want to make sure this post captures the attention of the perfect people. So we need to have specific wording and a very specific photo or video that will cause the perfect people to, number one, stop scrolling, number two, engage with our post, and number three, be compelled to learn more about us. Now, step number two in our framework is connect. This is when a potential ideal client stops scrolling and clicks the button to connect with us. So we want them to show interest, start asking questions, and want to know more about us and our hair services. So we do this through a messaging platform. Now, sometimes this could be messages on Facebook, this could be your messenger, direct messages on Instagram, or this could also be through text, but we want to guide them into a chat conversation so we can start asking the questions and allowing them to ask us questions to move them in the direction of booking that appointment. Now, step number three in our funnel framework is build trust. We want to build trust and start relationships. 
We want potential ideal clients to become aware of our services. And when they do, they begin to decide if they want to learn more. So they're slowly being guided down this funnel, getting their questions asked, learning more about us. And when someone engages with our post, when they see we are offering something they desire, they start the connection, which leads to the conversation, which begins to build trust. And this is when we begin a relationship by asking questions about them and their hair. We wanna know what they have experienced and what they desire. Now, in order for new potential clients to build trust with you, they want to know that you have the experience and credibility. They want to know that you are the right person for the job, and they want to know that you can deliver the results they want. And this is super important because as we know, there are times when clients are not completely satisfied, right? They have been burnt before. They have had sorry to say, but bad work done on their hair. And so they really want to know that they can trust you. And even if they haven't had a bad experience, this is just how people book appointments. This is how people buy anything. They want to trust in the thing that they're investing their money into, right? So we need to sort of answer these questions in their mind through these conversations. Now, step number four in our framework is book. So you're going to book your new clients by offering a service that is perfect for their needs and desires. Now, chances are if they saw one of your posts and let's say a post was specifically for blonding clients, they're going to be looking for a stylist who can do their blonde, right? Their needs and desires are going to go along with the service that you're offering. So if you can answer their questions and guide them along this process and they feel comfortable that you are the right person and that you can deliver that result, they're probably going to go ahead and at least book a consultation. Now, when and only when trust is built, will the client decide to book an appointment or at least come in for a consultation? And if you haven't guessed, trust is the most important factor in booking a new client. Trust is the single biggest factor when it comes to getting and retaining a new client. And by the way, trust is also hugely important for getting clients to send referrals, right? People need to know that you're the one. People might have had a bad experience before, or maybe they're just really, really particular about their hair, right? They want to know that you are the one for the job. So through these questions and through these conversations, we lead them down this road to at least come in for a free consultation. And along the way, they're building trust. So that is the high level overview of the ACTB funnel framework. Step number one, again, attract the perfect clients with the perfect post. Step number two, connect with potential new clients. Step number three, build trust and start relationships. And step number four, book your new clients. And if there's a step number five, it's to retain those clients and get referrals, right? Now, this is the exact four-step system that I use to help Rebecca build her curly hair clientele and help Holly get booked two months out with blonding clients. Now, the old way that we're throwing away is waiting for walk-ins and referrals, posting on social media every day, taking photos of all your clients, taking any and all clients, even if you don't particularly like those services. No, we live in a digital age. Social media and the internet are allowing us to use these very specific technologies to put systems in place to attract the exact high value clients that we want. No more hope and pray marketing, no more waiting, right? No more putting the control of your business in the hands of your clients. We are taking control. We are putting into practice a system, the effortless booking model, a framework where we guide potential clients step by step through the process I just outlined in order to predict the amount of clients we want to have each and every week. Now, what if you could start this system with as little as $5 a day, right? Just imagine that you put $5 in and got $50 or $100 
out, right? We put $5 into Facebook or Instagram or Google, and we get that back in the form of new clients paying us money and returning to us over and over again. Now, it's important that we see this as an investment in our business, just like cosmetology school, all the color classes, cutting classes, styling classes, we don't see that as a cost, right? We're not throwing away money. We're using that to invest in ourselves and our business. By learning those new skills, we're able to grow and we're able to gather those new clients as a return on our investment, right? It's like a seed that we plant and it grows into something bigger and more beautiful than we can imagine. And that is how we view paying a little bit of money for these ads, right? We put a little bit in to gain way more on the other end. Now, as an example, Rebecca paid about $245 with just Facebook ads, and this was a less than two months, maybe about six weeks. Now for that, she got about 12 new clients who paid her $85 each for her curly haircut with tip, and she made about $1,020. Now those 12 clients who paid her $85 each came back about four times within that year. So it actually added up to be over $4,000 for that year. And when you add in some of the clients who paid her for color, it ended up being $5,840. So what if you could put in $245 into Facebook with a specific strategy and get over $5,800 back out? Would you take that offer? Yes, of course we would. And this is the amazing part that Facebook has the power to get in front of way more eyeballs that are potential clients for us than we can do on our own. And what if each of those clients was actually worth $150 to Rebecca? Because most of us who do a color and cut are probably charging somewhere around $150. So as an example, if you were to have 12 new clients who paid you $150 each and came back every two months or six times a year, that would actually add over $10,000, $10,800 to your income right? So what if you could put in 245 and get over $10,000 back over the course of a year? That's a pretty good investment and one that I think anybody would want. And let us also remember really quick that this is all new and cutting edge. There are not a lot of stylists in your city or town even doing this yet. Some might be boosting posts. That is not what we're doing. We are using the ads manager in Facebook to very specifically set up these funnels. And the reality is even when some people are trying to do this, they're not doing it correctly. But I know because I have looked that there are not a lot of stylists in salons. Some are paying agencies a whole lot of money to do this for them but this is what I wanna show you, the power of a simple ad strategy that you can use to grow your business with the right types of clients. So that is why this framework is so important because it's a very specific step-by-step -step process, right? It's not just about boosting posts. Boosting posts is something you could do, but it's not a strategy. It could be part of a strategy, but, I really don't find that it works the best, right? And it's also not putting up an ad and then sending people to our Instagram. We're not doing that. We're not taking any chances here. We are setting up a specific step-by-step -step funnel in order to get people to take the next step that we want, right? This is very strategic and very specific. When people just randomly put up posts or randomly boost posts or just direct people to their Instagram and then people, people might scroll through their Instagram, right? But then you're counting on the fact that you want these people to check your bio and figure out how to book with you. And some people say, DMs only, don't call me. And some, you know, they don't even put their phone number. And, you know, sometimes people get confused, right? We want to give them the exact next step to take 
because that is the best way to get them on our books. If we leave it up to chance, if we let people get confused, if we don't take control of this process, there are too many variables and too many unknowns. Now, this is from Rebecca. She says, working with Liz has been a great experience. I've never used advertising to grow my business before and have been blown away by how good it works. And Rebecca, by the way, she had no social media following when we started this system for her. She had no Facebook or Instagram business page. She had a teeny personal page, but really very few personal followers. She preferred not to spend time on social media, right? She was someone who really loved doing hair. She had other things going on. She didn't really like to put herself out there, you know, just randomly with posting. And a lot of us introverts might be the same way if you're anything like me. So she was not set up for business. So we literally started this process for her from scratch. And this is a message from Holly. She says, it's insane, Liz. I'm up to 20 contacts. I'm busy fielding messages right now. Is there any other way to set up a response form? Like I'm getting too many messages, right? And she said, it's not even a week since I went live with it. Now this was her after a few months. She says there's been 18 new clients. She says the average ticket for the 18 new clients has gone up and there are 24 more bookings between now and the next couple months. So that's pretty huge. She got great results and she was a blonding specialist, right? So imagine if you could make that extra money every month. Imagine if you could reach your goals, right? If you had a system that could get those high value clients into you every single week in a repeatable, predictable way, and you knew what each week was gonna look like, right? You're off that roller coaster, done with that. You have a predictable system what would you do? How would your life change, right? If you had an extra $500,000 every single month, would you take a tropical vacation, right, with your family, or maybe do something on your own, maybe have more spa days, more time to relax and recharge so that you can get back to work and just be your top level stylist self for your clients, right? Would you take care of yourself more if you had that extra money, if you had that predictability? Would you maybe buy a new car, right? Maybe there's a car you've been wanting, but you just don't have enough to make that extra payment every month, or maybe even pay off the car that you already have. Now, I have a question for you. How long has it taken you to reach your income goals? Or have you reached them yet? Do you have any goals set for yourself? Do you have a plan and a direction that you're moving toward, right? If we don't know where we're going, we usually don't get there. So we want to write these things down. We want to have a plan and know how far we've come. And have you ever reached a high point or had a really great year only to come back down the next year, that is so disheartening. This has happened to me. I kept thinking like, maybe I'm in the wrong career because usually people make more and more money each year, right? They gain their experience and they're able to get, you know, grow their salary and get raises. But as hairstylists, every time we start over or every time there's a slow economy or a pandemic, we take a hit, right? And so our income can go up and down depending if we don't have a system in place. And that is why I came up with the ACTB framework so that you would have a predictable, repeatable system that you could follow that works for you to do all those things that you want to do, to reach all those goals that you have set for yourself to finally make the money you want to make, to work with the clients that you want to work with, and to be the stylist that you see yourself becoming. Now this system is simple, but it's not easy, right? You could try this all on your own, but Facebook makes things a little confusing and difficult when it comes to setting up their ads manager. Also, the most important part of the whole system is not just the technical setup. 
but actually choosing the perfect words to write and the perfect pictures and videos to show in your ads. And reaching the right potential clients on a busy platform like Facebook or Instagram or even Google is not the easiest thing to accomplish. Building your ad and funnel in a way that creates an instant online connection with ideal people who want what you have and are willing to take the next step is the single most important part of this system. That is why I've spent the last five years studying the greatest minds in marketing for local small business like hair salons, in addition to my 20 plus years as a hairstylist. I have a special insight into what hair clients are looking for, and that makes all the difference. So if you're still waiting for walk-ins and referrals, then you're leaving the control of your business in the hands of your clients. It's time to take control of your business and put yourself in the driver's seat by setting up a simple, repeatable system that will allow you to get a flood of new, high-value clients predictably and consistently without being overwhelmed by social media and without waiting for clients to come to you. And because I struggled over the years, just like you, to find a consistent way to bring in new clients, I wanted to create a program that is everything I wish I had when I was trying to build my clientele, when I was starting out, and each time I moved, and even in between when I wanted more clients so I could actually use all those classes that I was taking. So I created a brand new online program that I call the Hairstylist Success Formula. And this is the program that I was looking for. I created the program that I wanted, that I needed when I was desperate to figure out a way to get more of the right kinds of clients every time I needed to fill my books. Inside the Hairstylist Success Formula, I'll show you the proven steps to go from barely making it to booked out. I'll also show you the secret gold of the entire system, which is creating the perfect ad with my proprietary Goldilocks framework. This framework teaches you the four most important parts of the ad and how to craft your ad in such a way that your dream clients start messaging you practically begging to book with you. How Facebook and Instagram and Google can work together to seriously explode your hair business and lots more. Everything from the mindset of a successful hairstylist to setting up the foundations of a magnetic marketing system to creating winning ads and filling your books with dream clients to growing a highly successful hair business and creating the freedom and income that you desire. So if you're ready to fill your books with more hair extensions, blonding, balayage, vivid colors, curly cuts, precision cuts, smoothing treatments, keratin treatments, brides, updos, all those high value clients that you really want to work with, then I want to invite you to join my program, The Hairstylist Success Formula. And here's what you're going to get when you join. So the Hairstylist Success Formula is an eight week program. Now it doesn't all have to happen in eight weeks, but there are eight phases of the program for you to follow. These are pre-recorded videos, so you can log in at your convenience. You can go as fast or as slow, whatever time you have to put into this, and you can go at your own pace. In phase one, we will talk about the foundations and the mindset of a successful hairstylist. Phase two, we'll do our social pages set up to set everything up as we need. Phase three is the magnetic marketing, the Facebook and Instagram ads that we will actually be using to create our funnel. Phase four is creative outreach and client attraction. This will give you even more tools to get clients. Phase five is our fancy funnel framework where we put all those steps together step by step. You can watch the videos over my shoulder as I show you step by step how to do each specific thing. 
Phase six is engage with email follow-up. Phase seven is our Google Ads acceleration. And phase eight, we bring it all together in our supercharged salon system. Now let's dive in. Phase one, we will cover the three pillars of a successful hairstyling business. We learn how to specialize to maximize your message. We learn about our dream client profile in order to have the foundations before we ever start our ads. We also do a customized lifetime value of a client because each stylist and each salon owner is going to be different when it comes to attracting the types of clients that you really need and want for your business. And we also cover all the foundations of relationship marketing and why that is so important for hairstylists, right? Because we're not just mowing someone's lawn. We're not cleaning someone's teeth, right? We are sitting and doing someone's hair and they often share so much personal information with us as hairstylists. I would say even more than any other beauty professionals, maybe minus nail technicians, but it's such a very personalized service. So it is a relationship and we want to treat it that way. Phase two, we're going to dive into the Facebook business page setup, Facebook business page designs. And we're also going to learn how to take great photos for social media and also look at some video setup. In phase three, we're going to do a social ads overview for Facebook and Instagram ads, including our special Goldilocks framework, the right post at the right time for the right person. This includes also the ASOS framework for ads, which is my secret sauce, building your Facebook ad, defining your ideal client, winning ad text, creative conversations, the exact words that get clients booked. Phase four is our creative outreach client attraction. We're gonna learn how to attract new clients for free. So we're going to use Facebook and Instagram to attract clients without paying for ads. So if money is just a tight situation, or if you just have some extra time and want to do client outreach, this is for you. You can definitely get started here if you're not ready to pay for those ads yet. But like I said, it's truly an investment that grows really quickly. But I like to have this available because it is something you can do in your spare time or it's something that you can learn about when creating those client relationships. Phase five is our fancy funnel framework. This is where we go into the three best types of funnels for hairstylists, choosing the best funnel for your needs, exact setup of each for success, and adjusting to influx of new clients, right? So there are three different types of funnels, and depending on your specific situation, you will determine which type is best for you, right? We start with the basic, but as you grow and as you expand, and maybe you are someone who really wants to grow your own hair salon, but you didn't know if you could attract enough stylists or enough clients to really grow. So this is where these funnels can really help explode your business and you can plan for those bigger goals if you choose. So this is a little more advanced, but as you grow, you're going to need to change your strategy and figure out where you personally need to go next. Phase six is engage with email follow-up, right? This is seriously lacking for most stylists and they don't realize how powerful email can be but I wanna show you the step-by-step -step process exactly. Look over my shoulder as I set it up. I'll show you which software to use, everything. This is email attraction and automation, growing with email, attracting new clients, multiplying content for growth, which means using all the videos and photos that you're already making and incorporating them into email, which we'll get deep into and also referral systems through email so we can add that extra icing on the top to really grow our business. Phase seven is Google Ads Acceleration. Now this is where we go deep into Google, how to get found on Google fast, setting up Google Maps for your business, simple setup for Google's sponsored ads, setting up your Google funnel, 
and booking clients with automated texts or calls. And this is so much fun and this is definitely advanced. And depending where you're at, as a stylist or salon owner, you will be able to utilize this. Now, you might not even really need this. Dep it totally depends on your situation. But if and when you do, this is the most amazing training for you. Phase eight is bringing it all together, the supercharged salon system. Where to start for your specific business? Like I said, everyone's different in their starting point and in their strategy, how to use Facebook, Instagram, and Google together to really explode your results, explode your business with an automated system, and simplify everything with the perfect funnel. And at this point, if you need to hire more team members, if you need a social media person, if you need more assistance, whatever you need to make this all happen, if you have big plans of growing or opening a new salon, this is great for you. Or if you're just a solo stylist, you'll be able to make more money beyond just your two hands and learn exactly how to do that. So again, in the Hairstylist Success Formula, you're going to get this eight week, eight phase program. It's also going to include the PDFs and templates that you can download, save on your computer and easily copy and paste for when you need them. I'm showing you every thing to do. And you might have already noticed that this isn't your typical beauty pro program, right? Because I believe that a hairstylist salon business is different. I don't like when we're clumped together with the other beauty pros, right? Now, it is true that Facebook, Instagram, Google can benefit all of us, but like we said, hairstylists have a special relationship with their clients. I really want you to understand the marketing principles and how you can use them to grow your skills, to attract new clients. And I wanna be very specific. I want you to know as a hairstylist that you're gonna get all the information, that you're not gonna have to dig through other things for other people, right? This is very specifically for hairstylists and hair salon owners. You'll also have access to a private daily support Facebook community. This is a Facebook group where you can answer all your questions, get support of other stylists, and we'll be in there supporting you throughout and allowing you to ask any questions and get the answers that you need. Also, with the eight-week program, I'm including some very special bonus trainings so that no questions will be left unanswered as to how to grow your business. This will include bonus number one, the simple one page website for hairstylists. Now you need to understand why one page, why this works, how simple it can be and not be overwhelmed when thinking about your website, whether or not you already have one. A one page site can definitely be part of this system for you. Bonus training number two is the Viva Video Blueprint. I created a video course about video, right? Because there's so many stylists who ask me, I don't know what to say on video. Do I really need video? Do I have to put my face out there? This is like a second job. It's too much work. I don't know what to do. So I created a course to show you all the different types of videos, the specific words that you can say in the video, how to set up the video, what to do, the lighting, the camera, the setting. If you only have a limited amount of extra time and exactly, exactly what to do in these videos. And the great thing is that you can also use these videos in combination with your funnel setup. Bonus number three is magnetic email marketing system. This is where we build out, we really dive deep into the email marketing. This is really great if you're a salon owner, but this could also benefit you as a stylist. So of course, in our program, we have an overview and the specific things, but this is a more in-depth look at email marketing and a little bit more deep dive into how email can really, really transform your business. Bonus training number four is our automatic client referral blueprint. And this is often just worth the price of the whole course right here 
because so many people guess at what they need to do to get referrals, right? And even though I talk about not depending on referrals, I don't believe you should depend on referrals because then you're allowing your clients to control your business, right? You wanna control your inflow of new clients, but we do need referrals in the sense that we need to know that people are happy. We need to know that people trust us. We need to know that they will send their friends and family to us because as we know, reviews are so important and I'll teach you how to get great reviews and where to get great reviews and how to use those reviews and how to get referrals without even asking for them face to face. There are better ways to get referrals than asking your client when she's in your chair. So we'll talk all about building that out. And a very surprise bonus that I just added is our high value pricing mindset. And this is so important because so many stylists ask me, how much should I be charging? When do I raise my prices? I'm afraid to raise my prices. I don't know how to make more money based on the clients I have right now. And there's so much that goes into this that's just really our thought and belief process about this, right? Because truly we can charge whatever we want to charge, but we wanna know that it's fair. We wanna know that people aren't gonna complain. And we wanna know that we are trading the right amount of value for the right amount of money. Now, most stylists undercharge. And that's just a fact. I did that for so many years. And that's just second guessing yourself, right? And when it comes to all the skills that you have paid for, that you have invested time and money into, never underestimate the value of your skills, right? This doesn't have to be a direct reflection on how much you're worth, right? Because you're worth an infinite amount right? There is no price on what you're worth. But when it comes to your skills and you're up leveling constantly those skills, you need to know that you are pricing yourself appropriately. So we want to learn how to think about that. And if we added all of these up, all these different parts and pieces of the program, I could definitely put the price at over $2,900. But don't worry, it's nowhere near that. But I just wanted to give you the real value of what this is all worth. Because when we think about how much money we've invested in some of these courses in order to become better hairstylists, we really need to put it up against the value of learning the skill set of attracting those clients in the first place, right? How many times have you taken a hair extension course and paid over $1,000 only to figure out that you don't know how to get more hair extension clients and the clients that you have might not be good candidates, right? So that this marketing piece, this client attraction system is such a powerful, powerful part, a powerful skill set that you will grow that will just completely transform the way you do business. So let's take a look at some of these classes that you might have paid for. Now, this is a master class for hair color formulation, and she's charging $495 for an online course about hair color. And here's one about hair extensions. This is almost $600 to learn from dream catchers how to do these specific types of hair extensions. Here's another hair extension class for $950 that includes a startup kit and lunch, right? You're going to learn how to do these micro link uh, sewing and beaded wefts. Here's one for almost $1,200, right? $1,195, you're going to learn how to do the beaded weft and get a certification to do that, okay? And again, almost $1,200 from Bellamy to do their masterclass in order to learn how to do their specific style of hair extensions. And then of course they wanna sell you their hair, but $1,200 to learn how to do hair extensions. And is any of that going to cover getting more hair extension clients? I don't know. Here's another one, beaded weft 101, $1,500 to learn how to do beaded weft hair extensions. And here is another 
fifteen to seventeen hundred and fifty dollars for a master hair extension certification. Are they going to teach you how to get more clients? Hopefully for that much, right? And so the important point is that hair skills are super, super valuable, right? Where would we be without up-leveling, growing, learning more, advancing our hair skills? We need to constantly be learning hair skills, right? Color and all the new and latest techniques and methods of hair color and hair extensions and hair cutting. We're constantly up-leveling our skills. We're constantly paying more money into that continuing education. But if I could ask you, how much have you spent on money-making skills? the actual skills it takes to attract those new clients who are ready for our new skills, right? Who is the person to teach us how to fill our chair so we can use all those skills, all that time and money and energy that we've put into becoming a great hairstylist and often we're our town's best kept secret because nobody knows we're there, right? So we need to figure out a way to get more eyeballs on our services. How do we get in front of more of the right kind of potential clients without waiting for walk-ins and referrals, without just taking whoever wants to come and book with us, right? We want to be able to choose the clients that we work with. We want to be able to choose the prices that we charge. We want to be able to have a predictable system to fill our chair to know what next week and next month are going to look like. This is the money making skill because it is the skill that keeps our chair filled with the right type of clients, right? This is the client attraction system. And this is the skill that you will learn in the hairstylist success formula. So it's worth way more than all those other classes because it actually gets you more clients. So again, what you're going to get, hairstylist success formula, eight week program, PDFs and templates, five private Facebook group, one page website, video blueprint, magnetic email marketing, client referral blueprint, and the high value pricing mindset. And we're going to go nowhere near $2,000. So don't worry about that. But let's say, for example, that this was a $2,000 course, which it's not. But let's think about it this way. If all this did was finally give you a simple, proven and predictable system to help fill your books with high value clients and stop worrying about where your next clients are coming from, would that be worth it? Or maybe you've been wanting to change salons, but you just didn't know if it was worth all the stress to rebuild your clientele. And with this program, there's no more stress. You have a predictable system. Would that be worth, let's say around $2,000? Or what if all this did was help you make one to $2,000 more each month? or help you make enough extra money to buy that new car or take that vacation that you've been dreaming about, would that be worth it? Or what if all this did was allow you to finally set up that savings or retirement account that you've been really wanting to have the extra money to do? Would that be worth a price like that? So by now you've heard me talk about the four-step funnel framework, the client attraction system, getting predictable high value clients, making more money, taking vacations, all these amazing things and how the hairstylist success formula could help you put this all into practice and make this happen for you this year, if not in the next few months. And so you have two choices. You can take everything you just learned and try to plug it into what you're doing now, continue with trial and error, and hope that one day you'll finally build the business of your dreams. And you can just do this on your own and pick and choose all that distracting stuff on Facebook and YouTube. Or you could join the Hairstylist Success Formula where dozens of hairstylists just like you are following my step-by-step plug and play process of attracting, connecting with, and booking new high value hair clients every single day on autopilot. And so ask yourself, what is one dream client worth to you? Do you have clients who pay you $100 and come in eight times a year? So maybe they're worth $800 over the course of a year. 
Maybe you, your average client is $150 and she comes in six times a year and pays you $900 over the course of a year. Maybe your ideal client pays you $200 every two months or six times a year, so she's worth about $1,200. Or maybe you have hair extension clients who pay $900 the first time plus $500 for their touch-ups and they pay you over $1,400 a year so what is one dream client worth to you so if you could get more of those specific valuable clients every single week with a predictable client attraction system how much would your business and your life change so when you join the hairstylist success formula so we can help you put that client attraction system in place this is all the stuff you're going to get, but I wanted to go a step beyond and offer you something very special because really this is my test or pilot program, right? This is actually something that I've been wanting to do. Normally I do all the setup and all the work of these ad funnels for stylists and salon owners, but I realized that I could help way more people if I actually put the training into videos and deliver it for stylists to do on their own time. And that way they're actually learning a new skill, the skill of attracting clients. And when you learn this type of skill, it's something that will never go away and you can actually use it to help other stylists. You can actually have a side income where you help stylists and salon owners and do this setup for them too, because it becomes a very high value skill that you put in your toolbox. So I wanted to package all these videos into a step-by-step -step training where you could learn this skill on your own time. But since this is the first time I'm offering this program in this way, I wanted to give you a very, very special price. It's nowhere near 2000 or more. It's nowhere near what I could charge. So I want you to go ahead and click the tell me more button below. And that is going to take you to the next page where you will get even more questions answered. And that will explain everything and how it works and how you can get started. This is a very special price. It's not gonna last for long, but what I would love is to get that initial group of stylists and salon owners to give me feedback on what they think of this program. I really would love honest feedback. I would love to make this online course the best program possible, so I need help from you. That is why I'm offering this very, very special offer, this very special price. Now this price will be going up very soon. It's probably going to double the next time I offer this, but I would love to have you join us. I would love for you to be part of our hairstylist family. So when you join the hairstylist success formula, you will have immediate access. You will get your login details and you can get started right away. I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to learn more about you and your hair business and how I can help you achieve your goals and achieve your dreams. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you so much for watching this training. Please let me know if you have any questions. There will be a link down below where you can DM me directly on my Instagram. There will also be a phone number where you can just text me directly if you have any questions that you need answered. Otherwise, just click the button below and go to the next page where you can sign up for the Hairstylist Success Formula. I can't wait for you to get started and I'll see you on the inside.